fingertips, we like to come up with ideas that are funky. And roll and stretch. That <laughs> look great. And roll and stretch. And that are fun to make. Oh, and roll and stretch. And that's exactly what this make is all about. Yes, it's not an exercise class. Oh, no. This is the brilliant fingertips rollout writing. Have a look here, look. You can see my name in small letters. But if we then take a rolling pin and give it a little roll, the more you roll, the more the letters will stretch. Roll and stretch. It looks fantastic, and once you've rolled out your stretchy writing, you can make it into all sorts of things. How about a nameplate to go on your door? Just stick it up, and then everyone will know whose room it is. And we give rolled out writing a fingertips difficulty rating of two. Nice and easy, so get rolling and stretching. First of all, you need to get your fingertips on some oven-baked clay, which you can buy in most art and craft shops, and you need two different colours. So first of all, take a ball of clay about this size, and you want to roll it into a thick sausage. This will be the background colour of your sign. Now, to make the stretchy letters, use your other colour of oven-baked clay and roll it out into thin sausages like this. Then, get yourself a blunt knife and just cut off little bits to actually make the letters like that, and then spell the word. Now I'm going to go for fingertips, so let's start off with the F. And it's also a good idea that you really push these letters into the clay, that way when you roll it out, the letters won't stick to your rolling pin. And then just carry on with the rest of the letters. And when they're all done, get your rolling pin and gently and slowly roll your sausage out flat. And look at that, it's a great effect. Already you can see the letters being stretched out. So keep rolling with your rolling pin. And when you're happy with the look of your sign, you can cook the oven baked clay. Just put it on a baking tray and cook it according to the instructions on the packet. Now, when it's cooked and cooled down, it will be hard like this. And to give it a nice shiny finish, use some varnish and paint your whole sign. Now, when you've covered the whole thing, Allow it to dry and then stick some card or foam that you can get from a craft shop on the back. And your final thing you need to do is get some of these sticky tabs. Stick one there, one there. And now you can stick it to your door. Just about there. Now this is such a cool idea. You don't just have to use it to make door signs. No, why not have a go at making badges using fingertips rolled out writing? Just attach a safety pin to the back. You could also personalise your school books or a diary if you've got one. And how about trying different coloured oven baked clay and making different shapes by just chopping around the letters? Or check out this rolled out writing desk plaque. You think this is about you, don't you, Stephen? Stephen! No sign of him. Sign of him. <laughs> 